All right, welcome back, everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I put retro games on my Steam Deck. The easiest way to do that is going to be to exit out of this environment. We'll have to go to the desktop. We're going to add some software to this. So if you haven't done that, I'm going to show you how to do that today. It's pretty simple. All right, once you're here on the desktop, you can go into here and see all the applications. Go into Discover to Add Applications. Follow me now, if you will, into the Applications menu, and then the Games menu, and finally the Emulators menu. There are some emulators here that you could install standalone. I've installed, like, Dolphin standalone. But the one I'm going to be going over today is Retro Deck. This is the Emulation Station Desktop Edition, ported for Steam Deck especially. Though it does have some special instructions and it doesn't tell you how to really set up the games if you're not familiar with this. So the first thing we're going to need to do is launch this in the desktop environment. But before we do that, a little pro tip it gave us was to add it as a non-Steam game, which I have already done. So it'll go through this list, select it, add it as a non-Steam game, and for now we're done with that step. The second step is going to be then to launch Retro Deck for the first time. You're not going to have games in it like I do here, but you will see a pop-up telling you how to install some games. We'll hit the start button, we'll exit out of there, and now follow me into the file explorer. Here you can see the path to retro deck. To get to that, uh, you don't actually need to have hidden files turned on. I have hidden files turned on. But right here in the middle is retro deck. We'll go into that and into ROMs. And the nice thing about retro deck is it has the folder structures for the ROMs already set up for you and the systems with this little text file set up for you. So that text file is important, don't delete that, just leave it there. But if you have any games for each respective system, all you need to do is simply drop them into their corresponding folders. Please do not ask me how to get these games or where to get them from. I'm going to assume that you've already uh, backed up your copy of the games. And now I'm using this Warpinator app, which you can also install from Discover and on your host computer and you can transfer files pretty simply with this or with SSH if you're more technically inclined. I personally have a big old folder that I've compressed. I'm just going to decompress that folder, check out the games. It looks good. And to just copy this over, I'm going to rename it the same as what the other one is in the retro deck. So the SNES library is just called SNES. I know because I've done this before. And now I'm just going to copy that SNES folder and paste it into the same directory where we already have the SNES. Not inside of the SNES folder, but in the same directory as the SNES folder. You should get this dialog asking if you want to overwrite or merge. We want to merge, and I'll apply all. And just to check, here's, here's the games. And now what we got to do is a uh, sanity check. I'm just popping back into Retro Deck to make sure that worked. I'm also going to make a shortcut so I can get back to this next time from this desktop environment. And bada boom, just like that, we now got Super Nintendo. It's a little bonus for those that stuck to the end. I'll show you how to do a quick game scrape from the games database. I just want the SNES, so I've just selected the SNES this time. I'm not going to change any of these other settings, but just like that, we're now pulling some screenshots and some cover art. But this is kind of a slow process, so I'm actually going to back and skip out of that. Just grab the first two or three. And now it looks a little bit different. I've also gone into that pause menu with the start. I've changed my theme in the UI setting. So if you want this theme, just kind of I'll poke around a little bit. But that's uh, that's that's pretty much it. Now you can also launch Retro Deck from, from this library here, from this interface here. In the future video, I might show you guys how to then style your non-Steam games. You can pull some games, images from the Steam Grid database and uh, make it look a little bit fancy, but... If this helped you, hit that like and that subscribe button. In a future video, I'm going to show you my favorite Steam Deck shortcuts, how to navigate, and maybe a, maybe a review. But hit that like, that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you again.